Money, money, money. This is the preoccupation of so much of our lives every day. So much of our thoughts about how to get money and so many of the limitations around what we can do. And money, it's, it's so easy for it to be entirely consuming, to just be completely focused on it, getting money as this sort of never-ending spinning hamster wheel of trying to get more. And I find it useful to get a, as clear a picture I, as I can on how much money I actually need. Because if I don't, then I just think about, you know, it, it just seems like I'm always, money's always flowing out and so I always need to keep getting more. But when I can see how much I need, it helps to define it. It helps to put money in its place, in a way. Money is a necessary part of life in the sense that money represents all the, our physical needs. Everything that we, all our material needs, any, any kind of stuff, if we want food and shelter, especially the most basic needs of the material world, being able to actually get food that we can eat to fuel ourselves, that keeps coming up. And of course, having a protected, safe and warm and dry place to sleep, at least, these are material needs. We have to deal with the material world for at least those needs. No matter how much we can live in some kind of spiritual world or some mental world of abstract ideas or art or anything, we still have those basic needs for some kind of specific arrangement of the material world to, to suit us. And the simplest way to make those things work is through money, through paying somebody else to give us food and paying somebody else to provide a protected shelter. And if not, then we replace money with maybe growing our own food and, you know, building our own house and It's, it's, certainly, it's certainly interesting to imagine what life would be like without money. What it would be like to be entirely self-sufficient. Uh, but when, I mean, I, I've always imagined living, you know, in the wilderness. Like, I love the idea of having like a cabin and you know, growing my own food and, uh, you know, living off the land, completely free of any need for money. But I remember once just seeing in, a, in the grocery store, in the supermarket, seeing uh, a bag of beans and it was like $3. And I think about how much work it would be for me to grow the equivalent amount of beans and it really you really have to make an extra effort and really it becomes a whole world in itself to start to go into replacing money so yes we can certainly live without it, 
Uh, it's certainly possible, but it is the easiest way to get what we need. So the question though that I have is how much money do we need?